The hallmark of the U.S. Special Forces is small teams operating covertly in the middle of the night in remote areas of the world, conducting high-consequence critical success missions. Tactical mobility has always been synonymous with the Specialized Warrior Toolkit. That element was particularly highlighted by the use of a variety of wheeled vehicles by Special Forces of the U.S. and Coalition partners in Afghanistan and Iraq. Mission needs require extraordinarily small vehicles with more hauling capacity, impressive off-road capability, and enough power to get needed assets to the fight. In many cases, a balanced requirement for all three is essential. While mission needs drive the design, shape, and style of the vehicle, so too does the preferred method of insertion. In many cases, teams and their vehicles have to be airlifted and landed, or in some cases, airdropped. Size does matter. Special Operations Forces require a robust mobility platform capable of infiltrating and operating in low or mid-intensity conflicts over varied terrain, while significantly improving their capability to travel unassisted over long distances. Vehicles must be highly mobile, meaning a vehicle that can move quickly over austere terrain. One of the unique things about this vehicle is I think it addresses the terrain issue. It has the ability to get you over irregular terrain, especially if it's very rocky. Allows you that diversity of getting in and, and being able to execute your mission. Special operations teams require a vehicle that can move with speed, getting them to the objective and then extracting them just as swiftly. Integrating vehicles like this in, in ground operations is critical, especially when you're considering you've got to cover large spaces in a very short amount of time. So one of the best aspects of having this vehicle is not only an operational aspect in terms of, uh, for instance, a direct action mission, but also for a medical evac mission, you can literally get wounded troops from their uh, location of where the injury took place to a staging area or right to an aircraft much faster than you can moving him by foot. RP Advanced Mobile Systems, in collaboration with BRP Can-Am, are leaders in meeting that objective. Incorporating direct and reported operator feedback has strengthened their resolve to develop the most innovative tactical vehicle system to date. RP's innovation has led to upgrades in strength, durability, and in particular, modular aspects to facilitate any team's mission critical configuration. One of the unique things about modularity is the reconfiguration both inside and outside of the vehicle. What that allows us to do is one is one, move things around a little bit or configure it to meet a specific mission requirement. Weapons can be mounted at any location on this vehicle. The rails here also allow you to, to, to fix uh, any other device on it that can be adapted to a weapon system if you needed to. This does allow us a lot more diversity, which is, I think, pretty critical to this stage of development for any vehicle. We can do a lot with it, not just be singly faceted to by the way it comes and then that's it. Mobility systems comprise of the C2CC, Strike C, and Strike M vehicles. Both Strike C and Strike M are purpose-built as light, tactical, fast response all-terrain platforms. The C2CC is designed exclusively as a lightweight command and control platform. All three are built on incredibly durable, reliable, and high-performance BRP Can-Am Commander and Maverick side-by-sides. These vehicle variants can carry over 1,000 pounds, plus crew, and still tow up to 2,500 pounds. These multimodal vehicles are incredibly tough and rapidly deployable. With folding ROPS cage, minimal profile, and near infinite modularity, the vehicles are capable of being aerially transported in aircraft such as the CV-22 and CH-47. And once offloaded, be ready in seconds to engage. The Strike C upfitted Can-Am Commander and Strike M upfitted Can-Am Maverick's low center of gravity contribute to their operational stability and off-road dexterity. Its automotive style adjustable controls enables an operator to drive the vehicles like a car. The Strike C optionally comes in a street legal configuration. The commander's top speed is over 65 miles per hour on the road, while Maverick is much more. Both vehicles possess capabilities that significantly enhance the warfighter mission. Although strike upfit systems can facilitate medical litters, the online of sight lethality, as well as conventional swing mount weapons, 
Specific enhancements make these vehicles stand out above the mundane. The RP lightweight all-metal tactical flatbed is designed to facilitate loose and palletized payloads. With its truck stylized tailgate, multiple rows of C-Track cargo restraints, and multimodal quick change cargo modules, the flatbed affords the mobilized team infinite payload options and makes bringing more assets to the fight a reality. Coupled to this flatbed is the ruggedly stylized and multifunctional front bumper. Each reinforced bumper is designed to facilitate cargo restraints, push light vehicles aside, and minimize light reflection. The RP exclusive SOF series run flat tires make the Strike upfitted BRP Can-Am vehicles truly tactical. With its protective ply layup, unique rubber composition, and structural enhancements such as bead protectors and bi-directional tread design, the tire is no longer the weakest link. The RP tires can sustain complete loss of air pressure and continue to be mobile for extended distances at vehicle gross weight. These tires have been extensively tested by elements of U.S. Special Forces. Make no mistake, this is the tire that will get you there and more importantly, get you back. Using the Strike and CV-22 and CH-47 operations are available through an articulating ROPS roll cage that reduces the vertical profile below 60 inches. The vehicle width is factory designed at 60 inches while still using 4-3 offset wheels. This design allows for effective vehicle maneuvers without modifying wheel and kingpin offsets, which can potentially degrade steering, reduce handling, and induce premature control component wear. Every Strike upfitted Can-Am BRP vehicle includes the MSI Defense Suspension System. Available in both selective, semi-active, and passive configurations, this advanced suspension allows Strike M and Strike C to navigate and overcome a store operational environments like no other vehicle in its class. In addition, the MSI Defense Solutions family of shock absorber systems contribute immensely to reducing operator fatigue and increasing vehicle payload. Each vehicle also comes standard with the RP Ride Mitigation Seating System. Uniquely designed for the specialized warfighter, each seat comprises an innovative foam layering that forms to the operator's gear and then applies equal ride shock resistance to contact patches. The seat wing construction helps to restrain the seated operator during lateral maneuvers. Molly is sewn throughout to allow for additional equipment storage. All seats are constructed from 1,000 denier cordura, is breathable and highly resistant to moisture. These seats have been tested and found to increase comfort and reduce fatigue from extended harsh rides. And ultimately, what makes the Strike Upfit Ultralight Tactical Vehicles so effective is that they're built upon the venerable BRP Can-Am family of side-by-side -side vehicles. Their rugged design, attention to quality, and reliable Rotax power plant make each and every Strike Mobility System the vehicle of choice for high-consequence critical success missions. Maintaining, sustaining, and pre-positioning military combat vehicles and systems are critical to the sustainability and survivability of ground operations in any military warfare environment. MilitaryATV.com is a partner with RP Advanced in this critical task. MilitaryATV.com was founded and is operated by Mike Jackson, a former U.S. Army Special Forces Green Beret 18 Echo. Mike provides diverse vehicle and equipment maintenance services to our military partners. He's been managing diverse military requirements for years. We at RP Advanced Mobility understand the need for flexible and on-time solutions and rely upon MilitaryATV.com to meet the comprehensive package needs of today's modern mobilized warfighter. Training military vehicle drivers in a realistic environment prior to deployment saves lives and significantly reduces soldier casualties. According to statistics, between January 2009 and July 2012, there were significant vehicle accidents in Afghanistan alone. Soldiers can be severely injured or even lose their lives in vehicular accidents unless they are properly trained and prepared. Also, the cost and time to repair or replace damaged vehicles directly affects readiness, force capability, and mission success. 
To that end, RP Advanced and MilitaryATV.com rely on Mike Evok of AMJ Security and Vehicle Training to prepare the next generation of light mobility warriors. Mike works to ensure soldiers possess an accurate knowledge of their vehicle's capabilities, specifications, and limitations. He then designs a training curriculum to address a wide array of circumstances called from years of special operations that identifies the most likely risk. Mike's training courses replicate the dangers and challenges soldiers encounter when driving in diverse battlefield environments with a focus on vehicle safety and tactical maneuvers.